Update. Am I the a-hole for refusing to make my house wheelchair accessible? Original post. My 22 female cousin, 24 male, is getting married next weekend. He proposed to his girlfriend, 25 female, on Wednesday and want to get married by the next Saturday and they want to hold a ceremony at our grandparents' house which I have the legal inheritance of. I have no objections to them wanting to get married there or anything. Also, there is no reason to technically rush the wedding, but they say they are in a very happy place and want to be married ASAP. Well, whatever rows their boat. They want to hold a ceremony in the backyard and there's this platform of sorts where they want the wedding party to sit at a reception. The thing is, one of their bridesmaids is wheelchair-bound, and so they want to add a ramp to the platform. Now the conflict is, they ask me to get a ramp there. I've talked to the contractor who has done most of the furniture and stuff in that house, and he says he can only get to it next month as he's busy with some personal affairs. I told my cousin this, and he and his fiancé are very mad at me when I refused to hire a different contractor or get a quick work done. I have offered to attach a temporary ramp, the detachable kind which I could rent from a nearby shop instead. But the bridesmaid is refusing this, saying she deserves a better accommodating and accepting facilities. Thing to be noted is, the cousin doesn't want to pay for ramp construction since it's not his house and doesn't even want to pay any portion of rent for the ramp. Also, the rest of the house is wheelchair accessible since my grandma needed it, including washrooms. It's only this platform for some reason has no ramp but only stairs. I don't want any sloppy or expensive ramp done in a rush because I don't have that kind of money saved or want to compromise the quality. The bride texted me saying she and my cousin have always walked in eggshells around me to make accommodations for my handicap and feelings. So this is the least I can do for them. For reference, my handicap is my autism. It's never occurred to me it's a handicap or issue for people, at least family, to be around me. When I talked to my parents about this, they were very angry at her and have refused to attend wedding where their kid is disrespected. When my aunt, Groom's mom, found out about this whole thing, she was red angry and said she might not attend the wedding too. Now the bride is calling me an ableist and an instigator. Am I the a-hole? Edit. Mostly everyone saying me not letting them host the wedding there seems unfair since it was his grandparents' home too. But yes, I may not attend the wedding. It's disrespectful, I see. Now for the top comments before reading the update. Not the a-hole. You offered a perfect solution in the rental ramp. And they are being controlling. And grateful. Ridiculous. It is also really gross for them to reference your neurodivergence as some sort of way to hold over your head. Please stand your ground, OP. You are already being very generous and giving them your work around with a rental ramp. It is up to them to accept or not. Also, there must be public parks locally that already are accessible. So they could have their outdoor wedding in a park. And a reception in your backyard where access to the platform wouldn't be an issue. If you want to continue to host your cousin, I don't know if I would bend over backwards for someone being so rude and mean. Not the a-hole. Your house is not a wedding venue. It's your home. Any and all expenses for them using or modifying should first be approved by you and paid for by them. It's enough for a favor to let them use your home. Do you realize the time and effort that's going to be on you to have a whole bunch of people in and out of your home using your bathrooms, kitchen, etc.? The cleaning before slash after, the paper supplies, sewage slash water usage, and more. Yeah, you are not the one who should be bending backwards for this event. In fact, you wouldn't be to blame if you changed your mind because of their ridiculous demands and expectations. Way too much. Wait, so when they ask for the venue, they won't be cleaning after the event themselves? Isn't that a protocol to clean after yourself? By yourself, I mean hiring cleaning staff or something. Yes, people using bathroom, kitchen, and house in general I know and understand will happen. But after, cleaning is what I thought is normal. It would be reasonable to expect that they'd clean, as that's a pretty normal expectation. But they aren't behaving normally about the installation of new infrastructure on their behalf. So there's no reason to expect they'd behave normally with cleaning either. My brother uses a wheelchair and I ask him about this. His opinion is that the bridesmaid is full of it. Not day hole. They are taking advantage of you. A temporary ramp is a very reasonable and convenient alternative. It's interesting that in this entirely wheelchair accessible house, they pick the most inconvenient spot and ask you to deal with it. You don't owe them your time, money, or house OP. It sounds like someone is salty you inherited a house from your grandma. 
Your parents need to do a bit more to support you. They clearly see what these people are doing and they need to step up and mediate things. Or find someone with a backbone in your family or community that will stand by your side. Thank your brother for me. Inheritance was really sort of our pick. Our grandparents asked who wanted what type of situation. He asked for the car. The house sort of went to me since I had no preferences. So being salty about his own preference seems illogical. And now for the update. Thank you everyone for all the comments and explanations. It really helped me understand the entirety of situation. Well, after reading all the comments, the general consensus was not to let them use my house for their wedding. And when I asked my parents about this, they wholeheartedly agreed. Well, it so happened we were at a sad house. We being me, my parents, and my aunt, Groom's mom. When I texted my cousin saying, I'm sorry, but I'm not comfortable with you hosting the wedding or reception in my house. And he simply texted back, okay. That's when my aunt called him up and started yelling about how he was raised better. And him being disrespectful to his cousin isn't what she ever expected. Then she said she won't attend a wedding. And when undoubtedly the marriage fail, he'll come back to his senses and his family. Him being shell-shocked would be an understatement. He immediately came over to meet us all. And when I told him about the handicapped text from his bride-to-be, he was taken aback. He apologized profusely and was literally begging for forgiveness. Yes, he was irrational for the ramp demand, but the bridesmaid was emotionally manipulating him and blackmailing him a lot. He called off the wedding and has gone no contact with his fiance. She then saw the original post on Reddit and texted me calling me a tattletale dimwit. So F you, Carol. Also, as it turns out, they were rushing the wedding because she didn't want to sign a prenup. Dodged a bullet there, it seems. Yes, she said this part herself, yelling in rage. So, no wedding. But my aunt is hosting dinner the night of the wedding and making my favorite dishes. Once again, thank you, everyone. If she wanted to rush the wedding to avoid a prenup, possibly so she could have more assets if slash when the marriage failed, a ramp is a really stupid hurdle to let yourself fall over. Yeah, I mean, she's clearly not the brightest tool in the box of crayons or whatever the expression is. Considering that she revealed her plans in an angry rant like a damn supervillain talking to Spider-Man. But if I wanted a mad dash for money, I'd make an excuse to go to the courthouse with the idea of a ceremony happening later. Probably could even tell the cousin to keep it quiet that they went to the courthouse and nobody would be the wiser. Yeah, suck turd Carol, lol. Nice to read a family behind the OP for a change. I know. I expected the flying monkeys to lose their mind in Opie refusing to help a disabled person. I mean, Opie did not refuse to help a disabled person. Opie just couldn't get a contractor in, and the other options Opie offered weren't good enough for the bride. It's a classic case of reasonable accommodations, though technically ADA laws don't apply here because it's a private residence. Even if OP is making an accommodation for someone, they don't have to bend over backwards to do whatever the requesting person asks. They have to do what is reasonable. And in this case, the offered solution, a temporary ramp installed by a professional to make sure it's safe, is a reasonable accommodation. It gives a safe ramp to use for one day and is not placing undue burden in OP. Saying no to that and expecting OP to shell out a bunch of money for a ramp of questionable quality because Opie's usual carpenter isn't available in time, is not reasonable. I hate that I'm immediately suspect of any Reddit story where the villain is a disabled person who outright refuses and offer a reasonable accommodation, the temporary ramp, and starts calling people ableist at every opportunity. I think the bride threw the bridesmaid under the bus. Bridesmaid is getting a lot of the blame in the post, but it's not clear if Opie ever talked to her directly. Bride could have been lying about bridesmaid's demands. Also, Bride said Opie was ableist, not Bridesmaid. Next story. Am I the a-hole for not postponing our wedding when my fiancé's sister is now doing a destination wedding the month to follow? My fiancé male 26 and I female 27 have been together for 6 years and got engaged in July. I have been waiting for this for years and have been over the moon these past couple months. Last week, his little sister female 20 got engaged. So, I plan a celebration dinner for their family to see them and express their happiness for them. When no one on his side even blinked when we got engaged or said congratulations, I wanted to do something so she felt special. At dinner, it came up they are planning a destination wedding one month after our wedding. 
Of course, my fiancé wants to be there for his sister. But financially, that's a lot right after our wedding that we are already budgeting for. We're looking at solutions to this. But my fiancé suggested we postpone our wedding until after there so we can receive. His reasoning for this is that he doesn't want me to give up aspects for our wedding so that we can afford to go to theirs. While this has good intentions, I selfishly don't want to wait any longer to be his wife. I also don't want to be over 30 by the time we get married. I already have my dress, our decor, and our venue. He suggested we could elope and have a reception later, but it feels like I'm getting the short end of the stick. Would it be incredibly rude to ask that they wait a few months as it's mostly a trip anyways? Who wouldn't want to go to Cuba in the winter? My fiancé is very upset saying that we can't afford both. I don't want him to miss his sister's wedding or feel like I'm asking him to pick me over her. But I don't want to wait three plus years for our wedding to accommodate theirs. Am I the a-hole? Now for the comments. Not the a-hole. I would honestly be rethinking my relationship with him. Going to his sister's wedding is more important than you two getting married? That sounds more like he's marrying you because he feels he has to to continue the relationship versus a genuine desire to marry you. Not day whole, 100% this. You've been together for years. It wants to postpone your wedding to essentially go on vacation and see his sister married. How did a sister plan a destination wedding so quickly? Make it clear that you're unwilling to wait without giving an ultimatum to him. This is a red flag though. Has he helped with the planning? Made any effort to make both events work? If not, consider what you're getting yourself into. Not day whole. When you said you've already got the venue, that sealed it for me. Generally, you put down a deposit, and if you cancel, some or all of it may not be refunded. Does your fiancé know this? Anyone doing a destination wedding is an a-hole in my opinion. I'm assuming his sister was aware of your wedding date, which makes her plan even more of an a-hole move. Your fiancé is being too nice. His sister can either wait a year or do something that doesn't put a burden on everyone else's finances. Agree. People always talk about destination weddings as if it's like a life hack. I've been told, if you want to save some money, just do a destination wedding. The people who actually matter will make it work, and everyone else won't come so you can cut down on a guest list. I feel it's asking a lot of those people who do actually matter. I think there are times and places for destination weddings and I also understand the desire to do it. And don't fault anyone for having one. I just hate how it's turned into this wedding hack. That's basically, the people who actually love you will just do whatever you ask them, so it's okay to take advantage of that. Not day whole, but don't bother asking them to change their date. Your problem lies at home. So he strung you along for six years and now thinks it's okay to delay another couple years? This isn't how it works if he's really into you and want to get married. She is a 20-year-old and is clearly choosing her event over yours. Nope. Last story. Am I the a-hole for not wanting to go to my brother's wedding because my stepson isn't invited? I, male 28, have been with my fiancé, female 30, for a year and a half. I have a stepson, 4, that I adore and treat as my own. My older brother's wedding is soon, and I was intending on going, but after I found out that my stepson was not invited, we started having issues. My brother explained that it's just the nature of the wedding they chose which is child-free, but my fiancé was upset that this rule was forced on family as well. She got into arguments with my brother and his fiancé and ended up deciding to not go to the wedding. As a result, I called my brother and told him I no longer want to come after what happened. He began arguing saying my fiancé is the one being unreasonable and now has convinced me to miss his wedding. I told him that this is just me supporting my family after the way he and his fiancé treated them. His fiancé said they don't owe us anything, and that this is a wedding rule that applied to everyone. I said, fine then, I'm not coming. My brother is angry, and my parents are calling me unreasonable for being willing to miss my only sibling's wedding, and basically let a woman I've only known for a year and a half drive a wedge between us. They said if I go through this, then I might lose my brother, who is my support and comfort forever and so much damage and hurt will come out of this. I stopped responding to them, but members of extended family are saying that me and my fiancé are creating the problem by trying to control my brother's wedding. You're the a-hole. Welp, I'm sure your brother was going to find out how little you care about him sooner or later. I hope he remembers this and acts accordingly. You're the a-hole. Your stepson wasn't targeted. It's a child-free wedding. 
which is becoming more and more the norm given how some people allow their children to act. There is no logic to getting irritated that family children are not excluded from the rule. Since the majority of wedding guests are family, what is the point of making a wedding child free, but then excluding almost all guests from the rule? That would make no sense. None. This had nothing to do with your stepson, but you and your fiancé try to make it personal. Since I cannot believe you found your fiancé's gaslighting, trying to pretend children of family should all be entitled to attend regardless of the rules. To be an actual legitimate argument, I can only assume that you chose to back up her ridiculous position to prove your loyalty to her and the boy, rather than actually believing she had any real leg to stand on. I'm glad your brother is finding out how quick you are willing to shank him to validate your position in your own relationship. You're the a-hole. Huge. It's not even his stepson. It's his fiancé's child. I like how she says she thought there would be an exception for family. You're not family yet. Everything about Opie and the significant other's attitude is wrong. You're the a-hole as well as your fiancé who is an entitled manipulative woman. I suspect that your brother will experience massive schadenfreude and the shenanigans that your future bridezilla will put if she is this entitled about a child-free wedding that, gasp, excludes a child. Not even a shade of grey. If the child were a teenager, then perhaps it might be different. But a four-year-old is exactly the reason that people have child-free weddings. Because what four-year-old would be perfectly behaved through a ceremony and not cause havoc at a reception? Most four-year-olds do not react well to strange loud situations, especially when their schedules are out of whack. Between travel time, the ceremony, the noise, the people, the lack of rest and nap time, all of this inevitably results in some form of breakdown. Not to mention that a four-year-old wouldn't even remember the wedding, 